there's a primary sneaking up on us this coming Tuesday. Democrats head to the polls to decide their party's candidates for the November elections. One of the most expensive of those races is for the 79th district state delegate seat. And 10 on your side's Brett Hall is following the funds as delegate Steve Heretic works to keep the seat he's had for the past six years. Delegate Steve Heretic has made a lot of shady deals when no one was watching. After three terms of not even being challenged by a Republican, Delegate Steve Heretic now has attack ads running against him days ahead of the Democratic primary. I've never seen anything quite like this one. One of his opponents, Nadarius Clark, a campaign worker who's never run for office before, has raised more than half a million dollars for his campaign. Much of it coming from political action packs, Clean Virginia and Commonwealth Forward. Campaign finance reports show both groups under heavy influence of Charlottesville billionaire Michael Bills. I represent the people of Norfolk, Portsmouth, and Chesapeake, not some hedge fund manager from Charlottesville. I've declined to take his money. I've declined to take his pledge. Heretic says that pledge includes refusing to take money from utility giant Dominion Energy, a company Bills believes is rigging the system by throwing money at politicians charged with regulating the company. And he took money from Dominion, who rips us off every month on our energy bills. Dominion has donated $120,000 to Heretic this year. Dominion Power has never asked me to cast a vote yes or no in any direction ever, and I would never take advice like that. So are Clark and Heretic just pawns in a big money fight? Clark says he doesn't think so. To not take money from corporations, and that's exactly what I plan to do. So uh, th that's another reason why uh, a lot of PACs and a lot of green initiatives has been supporting me. However, third candidate Dante Walton says all one must do is look at the only $17,000 he's raised to see who is truly for the people. I'm very principled on not being bought out. And unfortunately, you've got a young guy that's being bought out in one direction, and then you've got an establishment guy that's been an incumbent who has been bought out in another direction. This district is likely to stay in Democrat hands come November, so this is why political experts say this is likely a battleground for the issue right now. Both Clark and Walton say they'd be in favor of capping political contributions in the future. Heretic says people just need to look and follow the funds themselves to see where the influence is. Brett Hall, 10 on your side.